I'd like to introduce you to our group members. Firstly, the Shimin, the language queen, made sure our project had a strong impression on the reader. Secondly, Chia Lin, the sponsor and the counselor, made sure we had all the materials needed and settled all our fights that broke out during the project. Thirdly, here is Ashwini, our hands-on girl. Chia Li, the intellect, gave us sources of information, for example, information from textbooks, worksheets, and the internet. And last but not least, our leader, Maria, the Woohoo! Earth is dying, she's melting like an ice cream on a cone. But no one seems to notice, no one seems to care. What are we doing, warriors of Earth? Our precious natural resources are depleting. Hence, we young warriors are ready to go against all odds and safer. We have devised a plan to make boats propel on water, bleh, water, without consuming our natural resources that is in the age of extinction. Like what they say, someone needs to start the ball rolling, someone courageous, and someone ready to sacrifice themselves for our beloved Mother Earth. And that will be... Us! Okay, enough of the drama, people. No, no, no. We, do you include the... No. Okay. Enough of the drama. Now let's get real. We're going to use um, stored potential energy and convert it into kinetic energy and use this to propel the boat on water. For example, we can use elastic potential energy, wind energy, balloon-powered energy, and steam-powered, solar-powered, human-powered, and more. But we are only going to use four. We are only going to focus on three boats. Rubber band-powered, balloon-powered, and wind-powered. It all started off when our geography teacher taught us about the effects and consequences of global warming. That was when we decided that with our best efforts to put a stop on global warming, which is why we came up with the idea to use potential energy instead of electricity, which contributes to global warming to power a boat. Due to limitations of technologies and time, we decided to make three simple boats in a small scale. When transferring it to the big scale, it is impossible not to involve the use of electricity, but only a minimal will be used. In the rubber band powered boat, a bigger version of the rubber band powered will be used, something that is more elastic, durable, and is not affected by the water. And consequently, everything else should be converted to a bigger skip version. There should be a simple machine that keeps winding up the rubber band or manual labor could be used, and this applies to the other two boats as well. Results and observations of the timing on how, how long the boat has taken to move in seconds, I can say that the most suitable boat is the balloon powered boat for long distances. Meaning that the balloon powered boat can travel the fastest for long distances like 1.5 meters. This is due to the stored energy that is being converted into kinetic energy, powering the boat to move faster than usual. Also, for the short distance boats, we can say that the uh, uh, balloon powered boat also seems to move uh, fast, but although the rubber band powered boat is also equally fast. This is because the rubber band is the elastic potential energy is being stored kinetic energy which is powering the rubber band boat. Next, I can conclude that the balloon powered boat is the fastest by taking the average timing results for long distances and short distances. The average timings for the rubber band boat, powered boat for 1 meter is 3.53 seconds and for wind is 9.75 seconds and for balloon is 3.74 seconds. For a distance of 1.5 meters, the average timing for a rubber band powered boat is 6.72 seconds, for wind it is 17.2 seconds and for balloon is 5.94 seconds. For a distance of 0.5 meters, the average timing for a rubber band powered boat is 8.7 seconds, for wind is 4.0 seconds and for balloon is 1.7 seconds. Hence through this, I can deduce that the most fastest boat for all distances can be balloon powered boat.